Okay, again uh, with you, uh, uh, Dr. Radia Bugabs. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, in uh, the uh, academic writing MOOC, stages of an academic writing MOOC. Editing and publishing. Scholars are being encouraged or pressured to publish more articles in higher impact journals under increasing strict evaluation and review systems. The main objective of this presentation will be helping you to reflect upon the importance of editing and publishing, list the different types of editing, highlight the different types of feedback you can receive during the editing process, enable you to differentiate between editing and publishing, and finally, reach and succeed to publish your papers. Let's begin. What is editing? Academic editing is the process of revising and improving writing academic works, essays, research papers, dissertations. And the main objective during this process is to improve the quality of the writing via uh, accuracy and uh, clarity. Why we edit our papers? We edit the paper to ensure that the text is consistent and flows smoothly. Editing may involve a range of tasks, uh, like uh, reviewing the content and the structure of the work, suggesting revisions to improve the logic, organization, coherence of the uh, argument, uh, identifying some areas where more research or evidence is needed and checking the grammar and spelling errors like correcting punctuation and formatting. Types of editing, there are several types of editing in academic career publishing like developmental editing, copy editing, proofreading, substantive editing and peer review. Take the developmental editing. The main focus of developmental editing is on the content, the structure and organization of the manuscript. The editor's aim is to help the author improve the manuscript organization for clarity, reaching more clarity and effectiveness. The editor may provide the writer a feedback and suggestion for improvement, for example, uh, uh, reorganizing chapters or sections, adding or removing a content which is irrelevant, or just adjusting the order of uh, events. Uh, like, let's take this uh, example of a feedback. Uh, that's uh, exemplified the developmental editing. We can see from the uh, different uh, remarks uh, included uh, is that this, uh, of course, editor highlights the importance to uh, clarify uh, what is meant by uh, battlefield or uh, asking for giving more description uh, or just uh, keep using the phrases living in the words. Another type of uh, editing for sure is uh, the copy editing. The copy editor acts uh, as the second eyes or pair of eyes of the author in that uh, he points out uh, some problems uh, like uh, correcting mechanical errors, inconsistencies, errors of grammar, usage and syntax uh, and the like. So uh, copy editing, uh, the feedback addresses uh, correcting grammar, spelling and punctuation errors. Copy editing as a pre-publishing stage aims to ensure that the manuscript is error-free, polished and ready for publication. Let's take an example of a copy editing feedback. So you can see from the different remarks included in this feedback is that the editor focuses mainly on grammar, mistakes, capitalization and the alike. The third type of editing, or of course, is substantive editing. And this type of editing combines between the two previous women here, the developmental editing and the copy editing, in that the copy editor, sorry, the substantive editor may focus on improving both the content structure organization, language and style of the work, and ensuring that the paper will meet the highest standards of quality and effectiveness. An example of a substantive editing feedback, as you can see from the remarks included that the focus of the editor is both on developmental editing concerning content and development and also another type, uh, uh, another focus addresses grammar and the uh, like. All in all, towards 
publishing, so from editing to publishing, from ensuring the final work effectively communicates the author's ideas and meets the expectation of the intended audience towards sharing the finished work to the intended audience. What is publishing? Publishing or publish and perish principles is the heart of academia discussion. Publishing is usually regarded as the last step in the writing process. It can take various forms, including it can be traditional publishing, self-publishing, or electronic publishing. It involves making the finished or the final piece of writing available to the wider or the targeted audience. Types of publishing, as I have already mentioned, we have the writer have various options for making the works available to the larger or presumed audience, like traditional publishing, self-publishing, electronic publishing. Well, by traditional publishing, we mean that to follow the traditional process of publishing, like, say, for example, yeah, in that uh, they are usually peer-reviewed, this is the process, published by established publishing house or academic societies. If the manuscript is accepted, it undergoes editing, design and production before being printed. The self-publishing, which is an independent publishing, in that the author does not rely on others to publish his work. Rather, during the publishing process, authors have to complete or complete control over the entire publishing process from editing and design to distribution and marketing. These manuscripts are usually made available online or maybe uh, they may or may not be peer reviewed. The electronic publishing as a third type refers to the publication of written works in digital format such as ebooks, audiobooks, and online articles. Of course, these articles are usually peer reviewed and indexed in databases for easy search and retrieval process. This kind of publishing offers readers larger convenience by allowing them to access books and articles on their smartphones, tablets, or personal computers. Of course, we almost know what is meant by the open access publishing? It is uh, open access publishing is a type of online publishing. It allows uh, it allows restricted uh, restricted access to scholarly articles and other publication free of charge to readers. Its aim is to remove barriers to accessing knowledge and promote the dissemination of research to the global audience like uh, uh, an example how to get uh, to uh, the open access publishing uh, via Google, of course, uh, we have uh, to uh, get uh, to this uh, link. Then the SNDL open access uh, is uh, uh, allowed for the researcher. Of course, this uh, will provide uh, the researcher with uh, a database. And of course, this database uh, will help him to uh, uh, publish his work, like the example uh, we will have after this one. Uh, as you can see, the different database offered by the Open Access SNDL. All in all, we can say that, uh, we summarize through this slide or this presentation, that the different stages and manuscripts passes or the process of publication starting from uh, submitting a manuscript to uh, the editor uh, and uh, moving to uh, the uh, different stages uh, assessment uh, whether to uh, reject or accept uh, the uh, paper and uh, finally uh, the editor may uh, of course uh, publish uh, the print uh, all in all writing a successful academic paper requires editing and publishing if thoroughly fulfilled this, uh, these last stages, uh, we mean here editing and publishing, will not uh, only guarantee the accuracy and clarity of an academic paper, but rather ensure its publication in reputable academic journals. Uh, some uh, references we relied on. Thanks for your attention.